Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and thank you for coming to this video where I'm going to show you how to properly set your tool on your CNC router, not only your tool height, but your side to side position too, so you can get dead nuts on the corner of a part to set your zero point. So let's go out to the router and I'll show you how that's done. The technique I'm going to be showing you is going to show you how to set the Z zero point where the tip of this tool is zeroed out on the top surface of this board and then I'm going to show you how to find the exact corner location where the center of the shaft will be zeroed over that so your absolute start point will be the very corner of that and it'll be very accurate. Now if you know the paper method for setting your Z you can skip ahead to the timestamp down below because that's what I'm going to start with. Now before I start uh, this can be done on any CNC router. This is a Bob's CNC E4 router. I enjoy this router immensely. So if you're brand new to CNC, I recommend this machine. And also you may want to subscribe to this channel because I teach CNC for beginners, I teach V-Carve for beginners, and I teach CNC entrepreneurialism if you want to make money with your CNC machine. I'm going to be working in a software that looks like this. It's called Universal G-Code Center. As far as you're concerned, it doesn't matter which software you're using, the CAM software. That stands for Computer Aided Machining. Basically, the computer is driving the CNC router doesn't matter what software you're working in it'll have all the features I'm showing you so let's get started I'm gonna move my computer into position and we're gonna teach you how to do this before I get started we're gonna do this in a very simple way there's a lot of methods out there there's a paper method which is the most common where you just touch the tool on the paper which is what you're gonna learn here uh, there's tool probes, touch sensors, um, corner sensors. You don't need any of that. All you need to do is know what I'm about to teach you. So we're going to start off with the paper method, teach you how to just set this zero point on the top of the surface, and then we're going to get to the sides. So I'm going to go into the software here. And forgive my lighting. My overhead light has burnt out. So I have to work with what I've got. And that's the way it goes. Okay, so we are in the Universal G-Code Center. And there's three areas I want you to take note of. The first is your X, Y, Z locations. So these are also buttons. And when you press those buttons, it'll zero out that bigger number. And just so you know, that smaller number is the machine home position or the very back corner of the machine over here. We don't care about that number. We want to get these numbers to zero in the proper location. Uh, the second thing I want you to know is just take a look here at this G21 code. G21 means you're working in millimeters. G20 means you're working in inches. I always work in inches. My programs generate in G20. Uh, but here I'm going to have to manually enter it in. So if you're using Universal G Code Sender, you're probably going to have to be doing the same thing. If it says, if you work in inches and it says G20, you're in good shape. The next area I want you to see is just this command line down here. This is where you're going to be manually entering in some information. And over here are your jog buttons. So you have your X plus and X minus, Y plus and Y minus. And the last area I want you to see is down here. This is where you manually enter your step distances or the jog distances. We are going to be using the jog function and that's what these buttons are here. The jog means we're just going to be moving the machine around manually. So what this is doing right now, you see I'm set in inches and the feed rate or the speed at which it's going to move anytime I hit one of these buttons will be 100 inches per minute. It says step rate of X and Y. So moving around a machine like that, X, this is be X, that way, and that would be Y. The distance would be one inch right now until I change that. The Z is set separately. Right now I have it at a 0.5 of an inch. 
So you want those separate controls, your controller is going to have that. Okay, with that long-winded explanation, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to change my Z to a 0 0.01. Now, if you use Universal G Code Center, make sure you type in the 0 point and whatever you're going to put after that. Put the number before the decimal point because otherwise it does funny stuff. And what that's going to do now is anytime I hit the Z button right here, the machine is only going to move a point zero one of an inch. Just like that. Now, one of the nice things about Universal G Code Center is if you hold the Z down, it's going to jog a quarter of an inch. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it down for just a moment while it makes its first jog. Okay? And I know that I got more than a quarter of an inch here. I got probably more than half an inch. I'm going to do it again. And you see I got a good shadow here. So I know how far away I am. And I can come down one more click. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to take that piece of paper, take a thin piece of paper, and set it underneath, and just start tapping the Z. And you see I'm moving 0 0.1 of an inch each time I tap it. And we're going to do it until that paper stops moving. Sometimes you have to be patient. Okay, I feel it grabbing now. Paper stuck. So what I'm going to do is now zero my Z. So watch that number. When I push this button, that's going to go to zero. So now the end of my tool is set on top of my material here. So Z is good to go. And this is the point with which, if you know this, you're going to be picking up on this on the timestamp. So now I'm going to hold the Z up button once, so it's going to come up a point two five or quarter inch, and that's more like a point two. I'll have to find out exactly what that's moving. Now I'm going to move it over this way, minus Y direction, so the tool comes past the edge of the part. So minus Y, and I am set at one inch, and. I'm going to come over a little bit more. Okay. So what I did was I was hitting this button right here. Okay, and so I'm going to move it back. And now what I want to do is come down in Z so that the tool goes down past this surface there. And we're going to come down one more notch. So Z is about a little over a quarter of an inch past the surface here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start bringing the tool over this way. I'll be spinning the tool by hand and I'm just going to be nudging it over until I can't spin it anymore, until I just feel it touch the material. So in order to do that I've got to turn that step right down right here, that one inch. If I hit that right now it's going to move over one inch, it's going to run into the material and break that $30 tool. So we're going to just change that to a 0 0.01. Now Y will do the same thing as Z did. If you hold it down, it's going to bump over, or what, a 0.2 or something like that. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And I can go one more. Okay, so let's get some light on there so you can see a little bit better. So now I'm just going to start tapping the Y in. And you see it's starting to move and I'm just going to just keep doing that. Now see it's getting close. And there it touched. Now we're going to back it up just a little bit. One click and see if it turns. Now I can still feel it just touching. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And we are going to now set our Y at zero. Okay, so we are now going to bump our Y out. We're going to go Y minus. 
And we're going to go X minus. Until it goes behind the back part there. So I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to go Y plus because I want it to get in behind the part right over there. All right. So let's see if I can reposition my camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, except in this case, I'm going to be hitting X plus right here until it touches. Now, if you remember, the X, Y step was already set to 0 0.01. So because I'm blind right now, I can't actually see it. I'm just going to keep tweaking it in until it gets there. So I'm hitting X plus. X plus is that way towards the part. Okay, I, I can't feel it rubbing, but I can hear it rubbing. So we are there. So now what I'm going to do is zero out my X. Now we're going to bring the Z up above this surface here. So we just come in and touch Z. And it's above. Okay, excellent. So this tool is a one quarter inch diameter tool. And we have set it an eighth of an inch off that way and an eighth of an inch off the back, which means the corner is an eighth of an inch back that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the machine to move to the proper position like this. We're going to manually enter the data. Right here is G21. I want to change that to G20. All you have to do is type into the command line G20 uh, if you put your cursor into it. G to zero. All right, not G two and the letter zero. G two and the number zero. Now watch the G twenty one. Now change to inches. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go to its zero position, not the one we're going to have, but the one we preset. So you can see exactly where it's at. So all I'm going to do is type in. I want to make sure I have a G90 here. G90 means I'm working in absolute coordinates. I'm not going to explain any more than that. Just make sure you have G90. And here you're going to type in G0. G0 says you are making a rapid move as opposed to a feed rate. X0 and Y0. And we're going to hit enter and here she goes. And now you can see that the edge of the tool is at the edge of the material there. And the edge of the tool is at the edge of the material there. So we need to bring it this way. Let me point the right way. We need to bring it this way an eighth of an inch. And we need to take it that way an eighth of an inch. Really easy. So first of all, you see we are at zero because we typed that in. Right now, we, do, we want that to be a positive number. That's saying that we're above the surface of the material. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tell the machine to move in a positive direction in X and Y by an eighth of an inch. So we're going to type in X.125. Make sure I type that in right. Move my, my mouse out of the way. And Y.125. And when I hit go, it's going to wrap it, or hit enter, it's going to wrap it over to that position, just like that. And now the center line of the tool is directly over the center line of that corner there. And you see it says 0.125. All we have to do is zero that out and zero that out. And we have now set our tool to the top surface and from the bottom of the tool. And the center line of the tool is at the center line of that corner there. So you are at the exact dead nuts start point 
for this job. I hope that made sense to you. If it did, give me a thumbs up and maybe a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are brand new to CNC. I teach you all the basics to get you up there, up and running really fast. I've got a lot of CNC in my background. I teach entrepreneurialism. And take a look down below. There's a bunch of links for you to check out to get you started in your CNC journey. All right, this is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I will talk to you next time.